Hola amigos, hoy vamos a leer La oruga muy hambrienta. Dice, la oruga muy hambrienta. Al claro de la luna reposa un huevecillo sobre la hoja. Ven aquí el huevecillo blanco. Un domingo de mañana, apenas salió el tibio sol, del huevo salió una oruga diminuta y muy hambrienta. Aquí está la oruguita. Enseguida empezó a buscar comida. El lunes comió, comió y atravesó una manzana pero aún seguía hambrienta. El martes comió, comió y atravesó dos peras, pero aún seguía hambrienta. El miércoles comió, comió y atravesó Tres ciruelas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. El jueves comió, comió y atravesó cuatro fresas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. El viernes comió, comió y atravesó Cinco naranjas, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, pero aún seguía hambrienta. El sábado comió, comió y atravesó un bizcocho de chocolate, un helado, un pepinillo, un trozo de queso suizo, una rodaja de salame, una paleta, un pastel de cerezas, una salchicha, un pastelito y una tajada de sandía. Esa noche tuvo un tremendo dolor de estómago. Al día siguiente, era domingo otra vez, la oruga comió una hermosa hoja bien verde y se sintió mucho mejor. Ya no tenía hambre, ni era una pequeña oruga. Ahora era una oruga grande y gorda. Construyó una casita a su alrededor, un capullo, y se encerró en ella por más de dos semanas. Un día hizo un agujero en el capullo, empujó un poco para salir y... se encontró convertida en una bellísima mariposa. Colorín colorado, este cuento se ha terminado. La oruga muy hambrienta. Gracias. En our book this week, we saw art of different types of foods. This artist, Hans Muller, created a painting inspired by food. Do these lemons look like lemons we'd find in a grocery store? No, probably not, but the artist used just a few colors and shapes to create his artwork in an abstract style. Abstraction is a way of creating artwork without lots of details. Even though this artwork is abstract, we can still look at it and know what it is. Have you ever made an abstract drawing? Think of the different ways you can create abstract art. Hi! Today we're going to be making food drawings. While I'm doing my drawing, brainstorm your favorite food. For this project, you're only going to need paper and something to color with. I have oil pastels here, but you could use crayons, colored pencils, or regular pencils too. I also have a pencil here that I like to use just to do any sketching before I move on to using my colors. So the first thing that you're going to do is create a shape for your plate. I have a tracer here that's in the shape that I want, but 
I can also use my own imagination or I can find any other shape. Plates come in many sizes, not just circles. So I'm gonna use my pencil, put my tracer down where I want it, and then just go around the outside of my shape very gently. I'm not gonna press too hard because if I make a mistake, you can't erase it. Now I'm just going to pick a color and go around the edges here to create an outline of my plate. I don't want to decorate my plate yet because if I make any mistakes or if I make my food too large, I could end up running into a problem. So while I was starting my drawing, I brainstormed the food that I want to create. And I am going to create a peach because that's one of my favorite fruits. So I'm gonna think about what colors I'd like to use. I think this color looks very good. And light orange too, maybe yellow. And how about some pink? These are the colors I'll use for my peach. So I'm going to start by picking my base color, which I think is gonna be this orange. And I'm gonna draw a circle. And peaches usually have a little part of the bottom that sticks out, so I can change the size and shape as I go. Then I remember that peaches have a pit too, so I can add a little place for that. I'm just working on the outline of my shape first before I do anything else. Now I think this is the outline that I'm going to go with for my peach, so I'll color it in. I'm doing my best not to leave any spots that are white so I don't run into any problems later down the line. It's good to take your time when you color. That's the base of my peach. Now I'm going to use some of the other colors I picked and I'm going to add some details. Peaches have different spots that are filled with different kinds of colors. So I'm going to put a little bit of a peachy color down here. And then I can add some orange or some yellow here and I can blend it out and make it look more smooth. That's something really cool that you can do with oil pastels. Now I think I'm just going to add a little bit of pink. I think I'm going to use a green color to create a stem and a leaf on my peach. So here's my stem, right there, and then there I go. Very easy. There's my peach. Now that I'm looking at my plate, I'm seeing some things I want to change about it. So I'm going to go back around and add some more details on. A lot of plates sometimes have decorations around the edge. This is a really good time to add that. So I think I want some dark purple around my edges and then I can decorate with a different color. Now just like before when we were coloring in our food, it's important to take your time and go slow because if you make a mistake, you're going to have to do a lot more work to fix it. And then here is my food drawing. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Art in Espanol today. Be sure to check in next Wednesday for a new episode.